Hello, hello, I'm back. It doesn't look like from the video, but a few days have passed and uh, while I did a lot of progress in the side of the software, it's not a lot in the side of the hardware. So what happened is you probably know the story of this thing, which I stripped out of a motherboard that I had here in order to try to find to get a header back well it just turns out that I'm a perfectionist <laughs> I try to find I try to find it on Radio Shack they don't sell it and I decided to order from eBay and they had like the the single row headers 40 positions so I can break them away and uh, mount them here as if it was a double row one. Well, it turns out that um, I ordered from this guy on eBay and everything else that I ordered shipped, including this uh, very cool rotary button here. And this looks just amazing when I mount on the board, which I'm probably going to just do it right now just so that I can show um, how it looks like when those things are mounted. So uh, I ordered from the guy everything else that I ordered which was the power connectors so that I can uh, draw the power from a power supply rather than USB like the Arduino usually powers on from USB when I'm testing. Um, but I don't want you to need to have a USB wire connecting to the Arduino in order to power it up. So power supply it is, especially because I need extra power for the audio, the whole analog side first. So um, everything else arrived except for my header and I was <laughs> pretty okay. The limit date is the 27th, which is today and it had it wasn't arriving it wasn't arriving usually ebay things they have like pretty wide limits so that it arrives within the limit and uh two days ago i got this message from the, the seller saying do not be concerned uh you the label was printed on accident i shipped your item but i shipped without tracking let me know if it doesn't arrive by the end of the week so that i can ship again Oh, that's fine. I mean, as long as it arrives, I don't care if it has tracking, if it doesn't. All, all I need is my header here. I asked back what day, uh, what day did you ship so that I get an idea, you know, how long more, much more it was going to take. I got another reply <laughs> and it was pretty daunting, if you will. Um, guy said, oh, I don't actually know if your item make to the mail because uh, I'm off my medication and I didn't doctor didn't tell me when I was off is gonna hinder my my ability to function now I don't know if I shipped so I shipped again and I included some extra for the compensation and uh, if you don't receive let me know and I will ship again and I was like okay so I reply saying, no, don't worry, I'm not going to give you negative feedback. As long as I get it, that's all that matters. The problem is I, I'm not soldering anything because I want to test every single thing that I solder. I don't want to, I don't want to be uh, blind soldering things. And then by the time when I hook it up, if something doesn't work, I don't know where the problem is and I'll have to desolder everything and start soldering over and over. Um, at that time, this started to become very like a big big temptation to me like I want to use this and uh, whatever if it doesn't look good as long as it works and of course like the the MCU is gonna sit on top of this all the time so it's not gonna be visible anyway but still you know that little flame of hope was still there and um, I decided to wait uh, until the end of the week uh, to see if it arrives. So today's Thursday, so we have two more days. It may be tomorrow, it may be on Saturday. If it doesn't, I'm gonna let the guy know. Which he canceled my order anyway, so he's not he's in no obligation to ship anything anymore anyway, because I got my money back. 189. Now that was a lot of dollars, but still. 
Um, but, you know, <laughs> I'm wasting days and time here in which I'm very excited and I want to see this thing working. So I decided to like, whatever, I'm going to go ahead with this. And if the header arrives, great, I'm going to go and solder it. If it doesn't, at least I can keep working. And the way I found a solution for this is by using my hard solid core wires to wire the first step of the bus and whatever else it is, the chip selects and all the other, um, all the other uh, connectors that I'm going to start using from the beginning. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire this from where it comes from into the hole that where the header is going to be and I'm going to I'm going to cut like a, a a length of this out pull it through <laughs> the pin the, the the hole until it until it reach the Arduino and then pretend as if this was a header so I'm gonna solder a bunch of these wires and and hook them all directly to the Arduino uh, female header and from that point on everything else goes on the stranded wire so that it's gonna be the final the, the final soldering style but this yeah this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna connect these guys and I'm gonna start like hooking up all those LEDs and all of those switches just because I can't stand not doing anything and waiting forever. And I mean, there's a lot of things that are gonna go in and actually I started just uh, slotting the LEDs that are gonna show up when the operators are on and I'm gonna actually bring this up to you now. That's how it's looking so far and let me Pull these LEDs down. There we go. Good, good LEDs, good LEDs. So yeah. So you see the switches, and uh, obviously I'm on my big camera, so I can't focus too close. The switches with the LEDs on top. I'm still have. I still have to put some LEDs on top. And if you if you're paying attention to the layout of switches you might be noticing that they are less than it was the last time well yeah because I had added a full extra row of four on the top God knows why I decided to do that um, so yeah I basically got all the ones that were on the bottom here moved them one row up and these solder these solder the bottom row so that uh, that took care of it. So four switches out. So this is um, where I'm gonna solder the the seven uh, five seven fours, the LED holders. I'm using I'm using sockets for everything, just in case I mess up with any of the chips. The chips uh, they can be replaced. But I'm hoping they're not. <laughs> And yeah, as you can see, I put the, the seven segments here so you see where it's going to go. This is where the encoder is. It looks great. You know, the, the, this, this knob is actually from a Roland uh, mixer or if, if effects pedal or something. It, 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 it's just nice and round and that's what I wanted. So yeah. Um, so yeah, so this is pretty much where we are. Uh, I'm gonna start soldering these. Then I have to solder the diodes by every single switch has a diode so that I can do my matrix and not having any ghosting issues. So that's still gonna be a lot of, lot of stuff to do, but at least now I know that once I have them in, I can start testing right away. I don't have to wait for the eternity um, for this thing to arrive, which is uh, just it, it, it's just eating me from the inside, so I don't want I don't want to keep this going on. All right, so there, there was something else I wanted to talk about, but I don't remember what it is. So, um, yep, yeah, that's how it's looking. It's gonna look even better when we have MCU hanging here and we have a screen hanging here. And then uh, we're gonna start like setting some seeing some stuff light up. 
just so that I talk a little bit about my progress on the software side. Um, what, I, what I've been doing is I've been writing the code that will actually load the patches and uh, show the information and show <laughs> you see I'm I'm not a professional video guy so yeah just bear with me uh, so I wrote the part of the software that actually loads the patches from the SD card so I'm using an SD as my main storage so all the patches are gonna go there my configuration files are gonna go there and um, in the future any other stuff if um, I ended up playing with uh, the DAC uh, to play samples that's where it's gonna go all on the SD card and um, yeah so that's pretty much so uh, that's working and uh, I'll probably take the camera to the other room and film a little bit just showing the patches loading and switching the operators and how everything is looking so um, yeah so that's pretty much where I am and uh, as I progress on this it's going to take hours and hours and hours and days and whatever I will report back talk soon